That Agirius Stasinakis is a partner at marinetraffic.com, which monitors shipping and joins us now from Oxford via Skype. Uh, Agirius, thank you for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. How accurately can you monitor where vessels are at any one time? Oh, hello, Kay. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Um, we can be very accurate uh, when vessels are near shore, uh, but less accurate when vessels sail uh, in the open seas. So perhaps I should give you some uh, background information on how marine traffic works. Uh, we track ships as they sail all over the world. Uh, we depend upon uh, a system called AIS, or uh, Automatic Identification System, where basically each vessel emits its position through radio waves. And uh, what we do uh, is uh, have a, a very large network of uh, stations picking up these positions. So when a vessel sails within range of one of our stations, uh, we know its position within a few seconds, really. Uh, when a vessel sails in the open seas, we rely on uh, low-flying satellites, which uh, orbit the Earth uh, quite frequently. Uh, and as they go above vessels, then we know the position of the vessels, again, in high precision. However, as the satellites move away, then there is a gap, typically of a few hours to perhaps a day, on how well we uh, can pinpoint where a vessel is. Can you track all vessels that are um, on the seas at any time? So AIS is uh, um, uh, compulsory for uh, the commercial fleet. So any vessel above, any ship above 300 uh, gross tonnage uh, has this, according to uh, the International Maritime Organization regulations. However, small ships, um, uh, leisure boats, yachts, uh, sailing boats uh, are not required to have an AIS uh, transponder on board. Uh, so if they do not, we simply cannot see them. If they do, however, we see them as anyone else. What do we know about the shipping lane where the Chiki Rafiki was last seen? Well, it's uh, a typical crossing in the Atlantic. It's, you know, it's a big place. Uh, can give you some numbers, uh, looking at an area around about uh, one uh, million square miles. Uh, over the past week, we have uh, seen some uh, 600 crossings of uh, commercial vessels. Considering how vast the area is, you can you realize that it's really not very dense. Hence, the you know the search that is now going on requires vessels to go around, you know, of course, or go around uh, in, in circles. We must leave it there. Agiris Stasinikis, thank you for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. We've been speaking to family members over the last few days. Still no news about the four missing sailors. Certainly the search has resumed, as you know, with the UK uh, and the US Coast Guard involved uh, to a greater or lesser extent. As soon as we get more information, we will update you here on Sky News. Meantime, latest business news. Here's Sam at the Gherkin. Hi, Sam. Thank you very much, Kay. Well